Hey, welcome to another uh, video with uh, Jim Ventura, your astrologer navigational consultant uh, on his uh, snake oil channel. Uh, you know, last year around this time, I was kind of going through this thing where when I was coming back from my friend's house, uh, I would drive home and have to slow it down a lot because I kept seeing rabbits running across the road. Um, I don't live in an incredibly rural area by any means, but I knew there was something up when I, when I kept seeing the rabbits. So, of course, again, I kind of slowed down. Um, luckily for me, uh, I know a bit about what that means when you start seeing rabbits. So <clears throat> we're here today to talk about the totem of hare or rabbits and what happens if you, you start seeing rabbits um, or if you, you know, you just choose to take on the energy of rabbit. That's what it means when we talk about taking on a totem. Uh, asking the energy of the spirit of that animal to uh, enter you in a way where you begin to pull in some of its attributes, its abilities, its skills. Um, so, you know, most people when they think of rabbits, there's a couple of, of obvious kind of things that, that we think of. People will have a, a lucky rabbit's foot. Um, this isn't a rabbit's foot, but this is a stuffed rabbit. Uh, really amazing graphics and, and money we put into production here. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, but you know, we have that thing about seeing the, the, the lucky rabbit's foot. Um, also, you know, if you're old enough to remember hearing the expression, the rabbit died, uh, it had to do with uh, pregnancy tests and, and women's fertility and, and, and often was a sign in that sense that, you know, there was fertility on the horizon. You know, we, we, we think about um, a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat, you know, and, and all of these symbolism that we're, we're talking about here have meaning as well that will kind of correspond to the energy of, of seeing rabbits and taking on rabbit as totem. So in the Druid culture, rabbit means rebirth, intuition, and balance. So it's associated with the moon, but also the east, it's a lot of different associations. It's connected with the two equinoxes uh, as well. And it represents a couple of different things. Um, the ending of one creative cycle and the beginning of another. Um, also, uh, we have that the reference to um, rabbit having a lot to do with being a shapeshifter. Um, if you ever look at rabbits in a field, uh, you know, it's pretty trippy because like you can see them and then you turn away for two seconds and they're gone. Um, you know, rabbits, you know, in, in Druid culture, they believe that rabbits could kind of disappear and jump in and out of uh, this world and in, back into the other world. So some interesting correlations here. But for us personally, the idea of being a shapeshifter means creative adaptation, um, that rebirth, those times when we change who we are, when we adapt, when we grow. And obviously the connection to fertility is a very, very strong sign of, of, of you know, trusting in that fertileness, that ability to um, be creative and express that in a way and that we have the skills and ability to do that. So rabbit as totem will often be a signal that that is something that, that is going on in your life. Or again, if you're choosing to take that energy into your life, which is something we could at any point ultimately choose to do, then of course, don't be surprised if you start seeing rabbits. Um, there's also, obviously, like with any animal totem, there can be some negative attributes that are always worth bringing up. Um, one of the, the correlations of, of too much rabbit energy or the rabbit energy being out of balance in us in that way is the idea that there's an imbalance, that we're, we're tipping too far in, in one direction over another. Uh, you can get all kinds of symbolism connected with that in an obvious way. Um, the other thing is, you know, an imbalance can also be, we can sometimes be not metaphysical and spiritual enough. Sometimes we could be too metaphysical, too spiritual. In other words, you know, there's a great expression uh, that often was told about, you know, prophets or channelers or, you know, spirit guides was that just because they're dead doesn't necessarily mean that they're smart. Uh, so, you know, we can reach that point where we're tipping too far and everything means something and, you know, and we, we're losing our balance as well, too. So, you know, I think that's less of a problem for most people, but it is something to be consciously aware of. But there's other correlations, of course, and connections um, with the high priestess is a symbolism from a symbolism from the tarot that represents some of this energy as well, too. Um, 
So there's, again, there's all kinds of different um, elements to this. But what I would say, if you're beginning to see rabbits and or you've seen them, listen, you're ready to end one creative cycle, begin another. It could represent that rebirth for you in a way. We can trust in that creativity or ability to shape, shift, to change, to become more than who we were um, and, and evolve, you know, in that positive sense. And there is that, that concept of a promise and fulfillment that the rabbit brings up and that there's something magical going on here. And listen, taken in the right proportions, believing something's magical is a very good thing. So speaking of magical, after doing this very difficult, rough video, I'm going to reward myself with a, an edible rabbit. Okay, cheers, everybody. Till next time.